friends, Jacob's here one more time. Thank you for pressing play, for spending a little time with me. Not the most pleasant things to talk about. The Francis Scott Key Bridge that is in Maryland, Baltimore, has collapsed. You probably saw the news. Right now, as it stands, I think that they have maybe six people missing. I think five cars. This is not, not a great thing, but it's incredibly symbolic. And it's connected to a couple of other things that I didn't expect them to be. The more I peeled back layers to this thing, because I think to myself, I look at events that happen in the world. This is kind of what I do on the channel. If you're new, I'm a speculator. So I look at these, you know, certain things like the fact that this bridge was named after the man who created the national anthem. The anthem for this country. An anthem is an important thing. So that's the bridge that goes down. I think to myself, there's something to this. I look into the, the, the name of the shipping container vessel. It's called Dali. And I say, well, that's interesting because I'm thinking of Salvatore Dali. And I look it up and I say, is this container vessel named after Salvatore Dali? And yes, it is. Salvatore means the savior. Dali means to be drawn up to God. The savior draws you up to God. But what's strange about this is it's named after that famous crazy looking painter, Salvador Dali. Ironically, he is known for a piece of work called the Broken Bridge. So Salvador Dali, who's known for the Broken Bridge, is the ship's name. Now, what's weird about all of this is that a couple of days ago, um, the Science Girl, she's a very big channel on X, she shared a video of container, uh, a shipping container getting lost at sea and saying in this viral um, video, which has like, you know, over 30 million views, how many shipping containers are lost at sea? I think that's weird timing. You have a container ship that is, uh, we, we get to see it like just falling over, falling over. And now you have a container ship crashing into this incredibly important bridge. And I was actually talking to Jacob Israel and I guess they broke down some other stuff on a show with Donut and uh, I got to watch a, a bit of it. And uh, Jacob kind of gave me the lowdown of what he found and then I gave him the lowdown of what I found. As far as there is an image over on the right side here and this is is very creepy because once you realize it looks just like a cargo ship now the cargo ship on the right i actually had to squeeze into the picture and i had to do it all funky um so but if you look at the original image the bottom is that flat in the back of a cargo ship this literally looks like a cargo ship and then the closer that you zoom in to this image which this is the original image right here um so let's see here let's go back to the oh, okay so here's the original image if you look at the original image you really don't notice until you really zoom in that there are lines on these when the on the turn sideways one so these this is definitely a cargo ship the night before well what was strange to me is i was you know, we were just coming off of the worm moon and there's a lot of symbolism to the worm moon. And so I put out this, this post on X and it says the worm has turned. Kind of like an ominous thing. The worm has turned is a line from Shakespeare. And it says the smallest of worms will turn if trodden on. Don't tread on me. I thought it was strange. And so I think to myself, what artist is known for the worm has turned? Once again. Salvador Dali. Now, where it all gets strange is the fact that I just talked about how we're hearing about all of these things with airplanes and we're hearing of all of these, you know, issues with cars where the cars are just, they're just seem to have like a mind of their own. Just did a video uh, where I talked about the film Maximum Overdrive, where a comet was coming over and all of a sudden everything started to have a mind of its own. When I watched the movie back then, I thought this is, you know, this is not exactly something that's possible. But today, with the advent of AI and how everything seems to be driven by AI today, and that's the direction we're going, is it possible that the worm could turn in all of these vehicles? By a worm, I mean like a computer worm. 
immediately after this news hit with the bridge, there were people that were saying, oh, you know, it was hacked. It's some, you know, and, and of course it could be just driver error. It could be driver error. But they said at around 1.24 a.m. that the ship's lights began to flicker, which was strange. And then the first call was made to the United States call, uh, Coast Guard asking for assistance. Uh, multiple assets responded. At 1.28 a.m., a cargo ship uh, struck a support pillar and the Francis Scott Key Bridge caused a, it was a to total collapse, a total catastrophic collapse. This shipping container, the Dali, was headed for Sri Lanka, a place called Colombo, which means dove. Sri Lanka, which means resplendent island, you know? And resplendent means, you know, all that is glorious and everything else. It was like supposed to be a 27 day journey and like 30, 30 minutes into this 27 day journey, that the Dali, to be drawn up to God, God's drawn you up, crashes this support pillar. And then the bridge comes toppling down. It reminded me of a dream that I had that I shared on X on 3-1. At like 3 in the morning I woke up and I, I like was in the water and I was looking up and it looked like, I thought it was like, like a train and stuff had like fallen and the bridge had fallen and uh, on a bunch of people and I put that that out like three weeks and three days ago like i already thought that it was connected to another event when we saw the trucker that was hanging off of the bridge just seems strange to me seems strange to me that just the timing of all this happens especially since i was just talking about how how easy it would be uh, you know for um if you're going to have computers with chips and everything else, how easy it could be for things to get hacked. Or, better yet, how easy it could be for AI to uh, come on in and, you know, maybe set man straight? I don't know. I feel like all of this is coming together for a reason. I feel like the symbolism of it is great. I wrote this. Francis Scott Key, Key, right? I think it's the Key Bridge. Here's the key. I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever is, uh, whatever is bound in heaven is bound in earth. Whatever is loosed in heaven is loosed in earth. Whatever you see and believe becomes. Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem. Dali uh, ship is named after Salvatore, the savior Dali drawn up to God. Known for the broken bridge painting. He leveled, that levels the a symbol of the United States of America. This bridge is a symbol for the United States of America. The bridge is from, is from the British bombardment of the War of 1812. We're back to, you know, we're back to all these wars again. It's very interesting. The connection here, Dali's painting of the allegory of the soul or the par parable of the soul has to do with a worm turning into a butterfly and it's a human being. It's just weird. It's just weird how all of this stuff seems to be happening today. And now a lot of people, when they're traveling over bridges, they're going to be worried, right? And uh, of course, it, it's important for, uh, you know, transport for cargo ships and everything else to get through. Like the picture of this thing, it's terrible. It really is. I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem because, you know, I was thinking about where it took place and the symbolism of it. And I put it together in the land of Mary, in a place whose name means big house. The broken bridge by Dali was caused by a ship whose controls were locked out. A national anthem turned to mourning, and yet, who to God will shout? Only 13 days till the eclipse is final, so we better figure it out. This is one of the things that I've been talking about, Jonah, the story of Jonah, how it's like, you know, you repent, repent, and God forgives us and lets us go. Like, I have good hope that I think good things are coming. But we got these weird things that are happening in the world and there's so much tension right now all over the place because everybody thinks that it's gonna be the big one, the big WW111, the 111. That's what everybody's freaked out about. Some people say it's already happening, but I'm telling you that if you if you're living a good life and you're happy and you're kind and you're compassionate and you're encouraging, I say this on every show, if you ask for the truth and you go to God, say, oh Lord, help me, regardless of where you are, regardless of where you've been, regardless of what you've done, 
There is life and hope for you, even in the coming days. So when I see all of this stuff happening, I'm not so concerned about like AI taking over. I'm not so concerned about enemy hacks or anything else because I see so much providence all over this thing. The National Anthem Bridge has turned, the anthem of this country has turned to mourning. Is that not the case? It seems to be happening right now. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted to share this with you. You know, my prayers go out to all those that are, you know, that are lost. And now probably travel's gonna be a lot harder for a lot of people, I don't know. But you can't deny the symbolism here. You can't deny it. Makes me wanna make sure that I got my life back on track. You know what I mean? All right, listen, I love each and every one of you. Will you do me a favor? We go to the, go to the description of the video. You can get yourself some of the merch. It's very, it helps the channel out. You can get a copy to call. You know all the stuff. Just go into the description of the video, hit more. You look down, there's a bunch of links. If you wanna support the channel, you wanna be a part of something, you know, you wanna be a part of Patreon, the community that we have there. We have like a live chat going. You could go in there and it's free too, but you know, stuff that I do on the others, you know, it's like a dollar, five dollars or $20. I'll give you a little bit extra. So listen, I appreciate the help. I appreciate the support. I love each and every one of you. Don't let stuff like this freak you out too much. Instead, let it encourage you. Because I tell you one thing, the more I peeled these layers, like what are the coincidences? You know that Salvador Dali, the worm has turned. Don't tread on me. That's it, the worm will turn if tread on. Don't tread on me. The symbol of the United States, the national anthem torn down by yeah, the savior. So God can draw people back. Oh, it's interesting. All right, I love each and every one of you. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff and have the best day ever. Bye-bye.